on a premise at Common Ground that when there's a need, we're gonna we're gonna just take that step and try to meet the need mm -hmm. by 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 any means necessary. We don't mean that in a, in a illegal man. Illegal man. No, we no. just mean we're gonna step forward and we're gonna meet that need, and then we're gonna put a call out. We're gonna say, look at this need. Mm -hmm. Look at the fact that these women, these elderly women, are living in our our shelter with no sheetrock and no electricity, with gas heaters. Mm -hmm. Come help us. And then people come and they put sheetrock in the buildings and they make sure the electric is turned back on and politicians step in. But that's how we do it. We just steady go. So as far as who can be helped, anybody that needs help is welcome to call the number that keeps flashing across the screen. Mm -hmm. Um, that's my cell phone number. That's not just the organization's number. So, so they're definitely going to get somebody that's going to contact and you. And I will contact them. Mm -hmm. I will have someone contact them, and we'll figure out some way that we can help, some way or another. Like, for instance, our volunteer housing. It's not a shelter. Um, we do have shelters, but if people from the community have nowhere to go, the other organizations in town, the police, um, the military, they bring people by to become volunteers who have nowhere else to go. Mm. Um, so we don't turn people away at Common Ground. Now what's the pressing need for, for Common Ground right now at this time? The biggest thing is that, that we need people from the community to please come and help us with the shelters. There are so many, I had to turn down a woman yesterday we couldn't have her in the volunteer house and she was eight months pregnant. We found a place for her to go but it wasn't easy. You know, we had to, we couldn't let her in our shelter because it's too crowded. We need people to come and help us run our shelters. Not you don't have to know a lot, but just to be responsible, be kind, have a heart for people that are in need. You know, be, understand that people are really angry in this city after what has occurred, and and the 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 way that they've been treated. And come and help us run our shelters so we can steady open more shelters. You know, we have a goal. To, to make sure that there are enough beds for, for low-income mothers in this city and for elderly women in this city by the end of the year, that there's not going to be anybody we have to say, you can't go anywhere. You know, let's really step, step up. And like I said, I don't pick this up very often in my life, in my adult life. I haven't. But I tell you, in Matthew 25, it says, whatsoever you do unto the least of these, you do unto me. And the least of these, like that means people of low income and the issues that come with, with, with having a low income and the anger issues that can oftentimes occur. That means people that have been to jail. That means people with crack addictions. That means people with all the things that generally people push aside and say, I'm here to help. Oh, but not if you do crack. Not if you, well, who else can, who was he talking about? He's talking about all people. Time? all people. All people. Mm -hmm. And we have to, we need people from the community to contact us, get together, let's put our heads together. We don't have all the money in the world. We don't have all the resources. But, you know, we're pretty creative. And let's put our heads together. And let's figure out ways to really help. Not talk about it for two years. Let's start helping people. Well, I can say, you know, I can say that, see, see this uh, success y'all been doing, not only in the lower night ward, but the upper night ward in access to, to communication, internet, telephone service, legal service, on um, Franklin Avenue, Franklin and uh, uh, Robinson. People can see and can go there. It's right next door to the uh, uh, Burger King. Right next it's, door. Uh, you, they can go there and get all kinds of things. And, and uh, what about your services? Are, are, are they available seven days a week? Seven days a week. I get up at six to seven every morning, and I work till midnight every night. Sometimes I get an hour off, and you know what? We have hundreds of people in this city doing the same thing. Because it's, 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 when you allow injustice and unfairness and poverty to, to, to boil like a, like a, to have a, a sore beneath the surface of the skin, something happens like this storm, and then look what happened. We can't let it happen anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's this time. We're people that have spent most of our lives dedicated, most of us are younger, but dedicated to, to social justice and the fairness for people, and we've decided we're not taking it anymore. Mm -hmm. So we work all day long getting people together and figuring out solutions. Um, people can call that number any time. I do need to sleep at some point, um, but I'll call you the next morning <laughs> if I have to. I understand. You know, That's understand. But we're available all the time. Okay.